Hello, good people, and welcome to another installment of MWF Tech Tips. In this video, we're going to talk about loading in MWF studs. So, if we go to the insert track, we are going to simply load a family because we're going to load MWF studs, tracks, flat strap, whatever we might need. So, if I scroll down here, you'll notice that Structsoft has slipped in our MWF installation folder right here. Let's make it a little more easy to see. I've got an Imperial folder. I've got a metric folder. So depending on what unit we're working in, you can select either one of those. Let's open up the Imperial and I can see everything that comes with MWF out of the box. So if we swing down here, oh, maybe I want to bring in some flat strapping. Uh, maybe I want to bring in uh, a different plate. I want to bring in uh, a horizontal S member, an S column, a T member, and a T column to cap some studs. So again, just by holding control, I can select multiple families to select from. I say open, and reading from the Revit type catalog, I can simply run through here and select any size of any member I might need. So I can make this guy a little bit bigger here. I want to bring in, this is T columns, I want to bring in a 362 T150 33. Again, hold control and just select any number of studs that you might need. Flat strapping, so different size flat straps here for some uh, maybe cross bracing or for backing. Bring in an eight inch by quarter inch. We can just take a look at two inch members. There we go. Again, don't forget to hold that control button when you were, well, there's no plate sizes in there. Don't forget to hold that control button when we're grabbing members. That way we don't lose everything we've already selected. So this is just like loading in any regular Revit family. You guys get the idea. Grab some studs here. This will really come into play when we're building templates. Uh, if we need a specific size member, let's say, okay. Now we're going to update. Maybe I already have some of those studs in this project. Let's just override them in their parameters. We can do that to all of them. And this is how we load in studs to create specific size templates. If we need specific size backing, whatever the case may be. So I hope this helps. Have a great day, good people.